Hi, I'm Jess and here's my story. Well, I've always suffered from um, iron deficiency anemia, but it never got to the stage where I needed a transfusion until I gave birth to my son, Connor, who you met outside. Um, I suffered a postnatal hemorrhage where I needed an emergency blood transfusion. So following from then, I've had a further two just to help with the iron deficiency. So yeah, and I'm quite, I'm a rare blood group, so it's even harder then to get blood. So it's massively important for people to donate. It's quite common, but obviously I was, I was quite young. I had him when I was 18. So um, I didn't have a clue what, it, what was going on or nothing like that. But I remember them saying you needed a transfusion as an emergency. So it, I suppose it all just happened so quick, but yeah, it's pr quite scary and it's, you know, it's quite dangerous. So I was lucky that, you know, we're lucky to have blood donors. I started when I was about 11, um, but during my time in school, it wasn't really a big thing for girls to play. But I did join with Aberystwyth Town in the 2012-13 season, but obviously went off and had my little boy. And then I've just rejoined recently, so. So he's taken over now, it's time for me to step back maybe. He takes over most weekends now, so. So yeah, he loves it in his element. Well, he's grown up around football, you know, his auntie plays for Aberystwyth Town as well. Um, but yeah, so he's just kind of been brought up around football and he loves it. He plays it through school, in the house, in the living room, in the kitchen, everywhere. So, and he's loving every minute, so. He's really good to fair. He's, I think he just thinks about the money most of the time when his nan offers him a pound for every goal and my sister's gone and done the same. But yeah, he's really good. I just think it's so important to keep the blood level stocked and high um, because like I said, you never know what might happen tomorrow. Once you get over that first time of donating, you realise how, you know, it's not that much of a bigger deal anyway and I, literally I was there 20 minutes and then straight home then from work and like, you feel good about yourself then, you've done something good the day. It's not really spoken about much, giving blood and stuff, but you know, I, I think it needs to be spoken about more so that people are aware that stuff like even childbirth, giving birth, or like if I'm in the hospital where I work on the weekends, the amount of people that come in needing transfusions is quite, it's quite a lot now compared to what we used to hear. Go and give it a go, even if you gave one, it's a massive difference. You know, that one blood donation could save loads of lives. Um, as well, like I mentioned, the blood groups are different blood groups. Um, you can get a really rare blood group and obviously the blood has to be compatible to be able to give to that certain blood group. So, Anyone that's able to give blood, go and do it.